guys, it's Jay Marie and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve my everyday makeup look. So if you want to learn, follow along. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first is eyebrows. So I'm going in with my Sephora eyebrow pencil in the shade Soft Charcoal. And I'm underlining the bottom of my eyebrow and just kind of using super light strokes just to give that hair-like look. I don't want super dark brows. We want them to look still fluffy and hair-like. So that's why you see me using the spoolie side of the, the eyebrow pencil just to like kind of push in the um, pencil strokes that I have already put there so that it kind of just fades and it's kind of giving it a fade look. So here I'm just using a spoolie still brushing out a little bit and I'm using the pencil side to kind of give it like hair like strokes in the front to kind of make my brow look a little bit fuller in the very front because it's not very full in the front although I do have full brows. Now we're going to go into primer and I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Absolutely love this primer. Now that the face is primed, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC45 and just carve out the bottom of my brow using a very flat brush. Now I'm going to take this very fluffy brush and just buff out the edges of where I put that concealer so that it all just looks seamless. Now going into foundation, we're going to use the Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation by Huda Beauty in the shade Mocha. So I'm taking a small brush and I'm just kind of applying it on my face but not necessarily um, blending it in. I'm just applying it on my face. So I'm going to go in with this big brush and just kind of tap it all into my skin. And as you can see, it blends in very, very well. It's a beautiful finish. I'm in love with this new foundation that I started trying. So now I'm just covering on my eyebrows with the same foundation that I just applied on my face. Um, not to necessarily give it a shape, but just to clean it up a little bit. Going back into my NC45 MAC Concealer, um, I'm just applying it underneath my eyes with a brush. And now using a damp beauty blender, I'm going under my eyes where I take the concealer and I'm just going to dab that in. So after blending in the NC45, I just realized that it wasn't giving me the highlighted look that I usually like to go for. So now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and placing it on my forehead, under my eyes, and right above my lips. Here we are blending it in using the same wet beauty blender that we used before. Um, I like to blend out the edges before blending out the corners of the eye because that's where I like to be a little bit more highlighted. So now we're going to jump into contouring. So using the Morphe Effect Contour Stick, I'm going in with the shade 17 and just putting it on my cheekbones and where I would like to put it on my forehead just to give me a little bit more warmth into my face, not to necessarily contour per se. So now that I'm blending out all of the contour, everything is looking warm to my liking. And I like to kind of put it right above my cheekbone to raise it a bit. 
not on the cheekbone. going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Hazelnut. I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes and press it in with the damp sponge. Going into my contour palette by True Complexion in the shade Dark to Deep. I'm going to use the middle color, which is the sculpt, and I'm going to place it everywhere that I placed the contour stick before by Morphe. So we're still here sculpting. It's just kind of warming everything up. And I'm going back into my Pro Filter setting powder and just setting it where I placed all of my concealer earlier. Just pressing it all into my skin. This isn't necessary, but for me, I like to use the same brush that I use for foundation just to take away all of the lines of demarcation. Going back into the Pro Filter setting powder, and I'm just taking a powder and I'm setting it under my eyes and I'm setting the uh, lids of my eyes and also where I like carved out my eyebrows earlier. Using the same sponge I'm going to carve out my jawline just to give it a little bit more of uh, definition. Just using a random fluffy brush that I had in my drawer. I'm just going to take that and go into the same sculpting shade that I used earlier and just contour and shape my nose. Now I'm using a very fluffy brush just to dust off all of that excess powder that I added a little bit earlier. Now you see me just dusting away some of that excess powder that I put underneath my jawline to give it a little bit more definition, but make sure you pat that in also to take away the line. Same exact brush and shade that I used to sculpt my entire face. I'm going to just take that and pat it on top of my lid just to give it like a little bit like of a dark kind of brownish hue. go into this Sephora blush in the shade Tiger Lily and just use it as a transition color. Using a very fluffy blush brush, I'm going to take that exact same blush that I used before and put it on my cheeks. So I applied my lashes and my eyeliner off camera so now you see me spraying my face with the MAC Prep and Prime and just damping my whole face with it. After that, I go into my contour palette and I use the highlight in the palette and just dab my face with the brush while the face is still damp. I do this so that everything can blend seamlessly. My beauty blender, I make sure that everything is blending in well. Now going in with a brown color lip liner, I'm just going to line the top of my lip and the bottom of my lip. Going in with my NYX lingerie in the shade Baby Doll, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the inside of my lip. I'm going to take this ColourPop liquid lipstick and place it on the inside also. Now I'm going into my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Hot Chocolate. I'm going to use that to line the edges of my lip. Okay ladies, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did making it. Um, 
I just want you guys to tap in and get into this look like just look at it and you see how easy it is you just have to take the proper steps and the proper precautions to make your face just kind of all blend in it all looks seamless it looks very dewy it looks very natural and this is what you should go for when always doing your makeup and I just want to say thank you for everyone who helped me get to 700 subscribers. Thank you so much. You are truly appreciated. So like, comment, and subscribe. More content coming soon.